What's going on guys, Tasif here and welcome back to another video. In today's video I want to discuss the steps of having a good and proper bulk, trying to put on as much size and muscle as possible and trying to keep the fat as low as possible. What is a bulk? A bulk is probably the easiest and quickest way to put on muscle and size. It's not the only way but it's definitely the easiest and quickest way to gain muscle and size. Uh, where to start? I, re I recommend starting a bulk if you're below 15% body fat. Um, if you're in that higher 15 to 20 percent body fat range, I would recommend either going into a cut or eating at your maintenance calories and trying to put on muscle that way. Uh, research shows that when someone is above 15 percent uh, body fat, it's harder for them to put on muscle and they're just going to keep putting on fat instead of muscle. Instead, if you're in that below 15 percent body fat range, you're going to put on muscle easier and less fat. Uh, step one, you want to find your maintenance calories. I already did a video on how to cut and in that video I showed how to find your maintenance calories but for anyone who doesn't know you want to look up a calorie intake calculator put in your information and it's going to tell you uh, what to eat to put on how much weight each week so I recommend eating three to five hundred calorie in a three to five hundred calorie surplus uh, each day and you're going to put on uh, half a pound to a pound of muscle each week. Uh, eat a high protein diet. You want to eat 0.8 to 1.2 grams of protein per body weight. If you have a higher metabolism, eat in that higher 1.2 range. If you have a lower metabolism, eat in that 0.8 range. Uh, so you're not putting on fat and you're putting on muscle. Uh, step four, do not shy away from carbs. Carbs are an energy source. You can use them during your workouts. If you try to not eat that much that many carbs and you stay away from them your body is going to take away from its protein and you don't want that happening you want to eat carbs so you have good uh, good workouts you're going heavy in the gym and you don't feel lethargic or tired throughout the day uh, step five stay away from high saturated fatty foods uh, don't chase fat instead of that chase carbs and protein people think that you're in a bulk you can eat whatever you want that's not really the case uh, if you eat whatever you want you're just going to put on extra fat and you don't want that happening because later on when you cut, it's going to be harder to lose that fat and you could have just had extra muscle. Um, step six, take supplements. Um, I'll, the only two supplements I recommend to take in a bulk is protein powder, whey, and um, creatine monohydrate. They're probably two of the most researched supplements on the market you can take and they're going to definitely help you to put on size and muscle during a bulk. And creatine won't help you gain 10 pounds of muscle in a week, but over time it's slowly going to help and it's going to make the job a lot easier. Uh, step seven, set a goal weight. Um, so uh, each week you want to weigh yourself to see if you're on track uh, and you're gaining weight. So I would set a goal weight. So if you weigh 145 and at the end of the week you want to be 146 or 147, I would weigh yourself in the beginning of the week, mark your weight, and then weigh yourself at the end of the week to see if your bulk is actually working. If you weigh less at the end of the week, I would change some things around, maybe eat more food. And if you, eat, and if you weigh way too much at the end of the week, I would cut back on your calories and then go from there. Uh, step eight, stick to a good workout plan. Uh, if you're not sticking to a good workout plan, all the extra food that you're eating isn't going to do much. It's just going to stay in your system and you're going to get fat. I would recommend sticking to a workout plan. So you're going into gym, you're lifting heavy. You're not lifting for a pump. You're lifting with intensity. You're going to failure with most sets. You're taking the most out of all the extra food that you're eating. And as a new lifter in the gym, if you are a new lifter, I would stick to a good plan because you want to take the most out of your newbie gains and you want to use them as much as possible because that's when you're going to put on the most size quickly from your newbie gains. Uh, step nine, uh, probably the most important step rest you want to take your rest days you don't want to skip your rest days you want to sleep at least eight hours each night and you want to drink uh, a lot of water um, a mistake i made when i started getting into the gym seriously i wasn't taking my rest days properly i was going to the gym every day lifting heavy trying to pr i got injured and that set me back a couple months you don't want that happening you want to um, take your rest days your body doesn't grow when you're in the gym your body grows when you're resting you break it down in the gym and then you let it regrow when you're resting. So you want to rest, take your rest days. Step 10, the last step, you want to take your time with it. Uh, you don't want to rush anything. To have a successful bulk, it takes a while. It's going to take, as a beginner lifter, I re recommend bulking for your first year and a half and then going into a cut. And if you're already an intermediate lifter, I recommend bulking for six months and then cutting. But it's going to take time. 
Uh, you're not, it's not going to happen overnight. You got to go into the gym every day. You got to eat high calories. You got to make sure you're drinking your water. You got to make sure everything's going right. You got to track yourself. You got to have discipline. Uh, and yeah, slowly over time, you put on muscle. Uh, yeah, so that covers all the notes I had. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, make sure you look in the description down below. So uh, if you have any ideas, if you want me to make a video on anything, send me a message on Instagram. It's going to be down in the description. The calorie intake calculator will be down in the description. And I hope you guys have a good one.